Sean Myers here of the Westmoreland Sports Network, joined by the newest head coach at Seton Hill University, Cassie Moore, now guiding the softball program. First off, Cassie, congratulations. I'm sure it's very exciting for you to take over a quality program like Seton Hill. What was your reaction like when you found out you were hired to be the next head coach of the Griffins? I was ecstatic. Um, it's such a great university, such a uh, fantastic softball program. I was humbled as well that they had selected me to lead the program, especially after such a great year last year. So, I mean, I, I was speechless, to be quite honest, and, and very excited and still so. Well, you have a lot of experience as a coach, most recently four years at the helm of Bethany, guiding the Bison, which is a NCAA Division three school that competes in the President's Athletic Conference. So how do you think maybe your experience at Bethany and even prior to that helped you ultimately land this role with Seton Hill? Well, you know, I, I told the, the hiring committee softball, softball, and I firmly believe that. Yeah, the pitch might come a little bit faster, um, but to me, it's, it's all about, you know, managing the girls, developing them into, you know, strong leaders, tough women, um, and then getting them to understand how the game works. You know, I've coached Division Two, I've coached Division Three, I've coached junior college, and I really have the same approach with all of those levels. Softball at its element is a very basic sport of catching and throwing and hitting the ball where the players aren't. So I, I don't really think much of it changes from division to division. If anything, it's just the parameters that each division gives us. So I'm, I'm very excited about jumping from division three to division two, because I'll have more time with the girls, especially in the off season, because that's always been my, my number one complaint about division three is we get such a tiny window in the fall. So I'm, if anything, I'm, I'm even more excited to work with the girls more um, in the, in that off season. Well, you had a lot of success at Bethany. You took over the program and made strides each and every season. Obviously, COVID kind of put a pause to the 2020 season, but you were able to make the conference tournament each of the last two years. Uh, what led to that success recently that you had guiding the Bison? Um, you know, we talk a lot about trusting the process, um, especially after that 2020 year. My first year here, we missed the playoffs. Um, it's very hard to make the playoffs and impact softball. It's the top four teams. We were very close, but we missed the playoffs that first year. And then obviously we had our season taken away uh, during, during COVID. So I think the girls just coming back, they were hungry. They had unfinished business. Um, and we, you know, like every other school, had a lot of, of obstacles that COVID year. Um, at one point in the season, we were wearing masks while they were playing because there was Close contact with another school and they they honestly were just so used to adversity if anything they rose to the occasion and you know we made a run for the pack championship that year and if anything that just made them even more hungry um you know with last year with our run we ended up losing two really close ball games by by one run but i mean sometimes that house that's how softball goes it's just you know a little hit a little bit that way or a little bit that way a lot of times can change the game but but for, for our team, it was just, you know, like I said, just trusting the process, putting in the work every single day, showing up and, you know, just as my dad always said, letting the chips fall as they may. So we just put in the work and let it happen day by day. So you have already been hired at Seton Hill, but you're still at Bethany right now. You're in your office there. You're saying your goodbyes and then you're going to be saying your hellos as well to your new players. What's, what's that process like? It's very bittersweet. Um, you know, I've shed a lot of tears and our girls have shed a lot of tears here. It was very hard to leave Bethany, um, not to give too much away to the other pack coaches, but this team is very, very talented. And, and as I told them on Monday, um, I want them to realize all the good that they have. I might be leaving, but they have each other. They're a really great ball club um, and they just need to remember what brought them success the past two years. So it, like I said, it's been tough. It was a really, really hard choice to make. Um, but, you know, I also understand that Seton Hill is a fantastic opportunity and, and one that I'm very, very excited about. So as I said, it's bittersweet. It's, it's kind of crazy trying to move and live in two different places and, and really in my head coach two different teams. You know, I've got concession stand items over there. I was at Sam's club and trying to make sure this team is well taken care of before I leave. Um, I'm still very committed to them, but at the same time, transitioning in, in my mind, taking over a new team and learning all new girls and, and how they operate and, and what works for them and what traditions, you know, we want to carry forward at Seton Hill. So it, it's been tough. Tough, but, you know, just like I was saying with the girls with our success um, with your last question, it's just taking it day by day and trusting the process and having patience and understanding that, you know, if you put in the work, the results will come. Well, the team you're taking over is coming off of the best season in program history, making it all the way to the 
uh, national championship tournament a year ago. So when you look at Seton Hill, I know that they did graduate some terrific players, but they have a, a large group coming back. What are sort of the expectations that you've set? I mean, it's tough to, to kind of put that on yourself. I mean, I've, I've thought about that a lot, like, oh gosh, we got to make the world series again. But, you know, I know they've lost Morgan Ryan and, and their other star outfielder. Um, so, you know, there's some ground that they have to make up for that, but you know, it's, it is, again, it's just trusting the process and putting in the work every single day. And then, you know, just letting the season happen, how it's, how it's supposed to happen. I know in the past when we focus way too much on what happens in, in May and what happens, you know, at the end of the season that we forget the play to play the game in March and April, because it's those games, those innings, those pitches um, in that moment, that's going to bring you success later on in the season. So it's, it's being careful not to get too far ahead of yourself and just worry about that day-to-day -day grind. What's our bunk coverage look like? What's, you know, who needs to be where on cutoffs? How do we handle, you know, a lefty with a dirty change up or whatever it may be, you know, we still have to put in the work and you can't just expect that, you know, just because we were there one year means that it's going to happen again. If anything, it's just, it's just good old fashioned hard work and hopefully it, it works out on our end at the end. Lastly, uh, what message do you have to the Seton Hill community as a whole in terms of what you're bringing to this program? <laughs> you know, I, it's funny. I told the, the hiring committee, I, um, so I was actually on campus uh, almost a year to the date and my fiance, he coaches baseball and he was playing a game at Seton Hill and I was more so watching the softball team practice and just being in awe of, you know, how they conducted themselves, the hustle that they had. And it's very similar to the program that, that I've been running here at Bethany. And it, again, it's the same thing I told the hiring committee. I don't think there's going to be much of a change. That same expectation of, of how we handle ourselves in practice, how we handle ourselves in games, that's still going to be there. Um, obviously, I'm not Coach Strong. I'm going to have a different philosophy, and we're going to run practices a little bit different. Um, but having all of them understand that I have the same ambitions, the same work ethic um, that was there the past four years. So some of the, the daily stuff might change a little bit, but the mentality, that, that will remain unchanged. Well, Cassie, uh, once again, congratulations. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know it's been a very busy uh, couple of days for you. So we appreciate it. And hopefully you'll have plenty of success going forward at Seton Hill. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's Cassie Moore, the new head coach for Seton Hill softball on the Westmoreland Sports Network.